What's up guys, it's Oblivion Guy, and welcome back to another part of Pokemon Septo Conquest. In the last part, which was basically about a year ago, I think, um, we just entered this cave, and a lot of you probably wondering why I never got back to it, and it is for a few reasons. Um, the first one is because, well, I tried rendering... Like, each time I tried to render the entire video, it my computer would just shut down on itself and say, No, I don't want you to put this on YouTube. Not now. Try something else. So, then I'd be like, Okay, I guess. And then finally, one day, my computer was like, Okay, fine. I actually want to see where you're going to go with this. So, I'll let you render it. And now, it's finally rendered. I'm trying to get through this cave as quickly as possible because there is a lot of gray in here and a lot of wild Pokemon. And it's pretty much like the rock um, tunnel in blue and red and leaf green and fire red. Uh, it's pretty standard. Just a couple added new trainers. Nothing really special to see here. Uh, of course, I skip over a few battles because it does get tedious. And I mean tedious. And overall, I just wanted to get out of this cave. But um, I'm pretty sure in future episodes um, that... I'm pretty sure in future episodes it'll be a lot more interesting because I did, you know, record and play ahead and it does get a little interesting. There are a few glitches here and there where the game decides to pass out and crash and then I can't play it anymore, which un is understandable why a lot of people stop playing Septo Conquest. But right now, out of everyone on YouTube, as of right now, today, or whenever I upload this, I'm going to be pretty far compared to everyone else today. Don't quote me on that. If it's like 2028 and somebody else has already beaten it, you know, don't quote me on that. But yeah, so I'm just exploring the cave. It's been, it has been a while and I'm sorry about not uploading it anymore. Usually a lot of people who play Septo Conquest end up not playing it anymore. Not me. I actually want to see this game through the end because again so far I'm the only person on YouTube who's actually gotten pretty far not including glitches and other stuff that the ROM hackers did not decide to put in anything like uh, you'll see I don't want to spoil anything but you'll see what I mean this cave is again standard uh, there are a few different trainers like they decided to mix up the trainers here and there like this trainer who used to be at the end is now up front and it's you know it's the little things and then I was questioning whether I should go back there or not and of course my repel runs out because these random encounters show up and the only good thing about these random encounters though is that they fill up your pokedex which you are definitely going to need um I haven't gotten fly yet for obvious reasons because I don't know how to get fly I think I'm supposed to talk to the all awesome Lance eventually I really hope I get fly soon because navigating this place is a pain and I just found the, um, the caves uh, exit it's this guy you know because he wants to have a picnic in the mines it's okay though because the exits right here and how I can tell it's the exit well just by reading it yeah reading that I mean oh mines and now I'm in the Diglett mansion yeah yeah cruel joke anyway root for a finally out of that dull gray nonsense and as you can see I have to heal up a bit because you know the cave not bad. Um, choice of music, it's good. It's a good choice of music. Well, for the ROM hack, anyway. Um, of course, I gotta put Sky Man up front. You always put your starter up front. Broken subway. You always put your starter up front because you never know what's gonna be ahead. And usually, your starter is the strongest. Or most preferable Pokemon to use. Preferable, excuse me. And I'm in some grass, so it's okay, though. Alright, I think if I just navigate... Or, yeah, repel. But then again, I don't know what levels are... I don't know what levels these guys are on right now. Um, and I'm in Zan City. Or Sand City. 
and it's it's a pretty standard hacked version of Celadon City. Okay, I guess that makes sense. And ROM hacking clouds, nonsense on the sign, these green guys, this guy. Okay, he came running this way. Okay. Hmm. Spoiler alert, um, the slip scope isn't at this, the stop, the store, and uh, the, the casino's over here. I think I'll, oh, fans, oh, well, that sounds interesting. Yeah, uh, because that makes sense. Pokemon Center, oh, thank goodness. And I guess that's some more information. Okay. All the heals. Well, yeah, it's. I think this. I think this is good. No. Yeah, he's been to Deadlands Castle. Yeah, I don't have a bike. I don't know where to get the bike. This ROM hack is very. There was a supposed bike shop in Balthier Rock, but spoiler alert, it didn't work. For obvious reasons, I'm just gonna put these two away for now until I need them. Uh, I don't know who the other two teammates on my team will be, but I know one of them has to be an ice type or something. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed the little excavation I had in the cave. And for those of you playing through Septo Conquest and following around, yeah, it's it's gonna get pretty rough from here. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want any more updates on my videos. More content coming on the way. I'm Oblivion Guy, and I'll catch you guys later.